Okay, all right. So uh, today's class is different because I want to uh, uh, have a lecture uh, to explain what Qigong is about because most of the time when we work on Qigong, we, uh, we simply do the movement. So with some kind of background uh, information or knowledge, then when you do the exercise, you can feel more uh, aligned with what you're doing. You, 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 can, you can put the theory into practice, which is important. Okay. So what is Qi Kong? Qi Kong, Qi is what you call the energy or the life force. So, uh, and then Kong is the ability or skill. So you use that skill to, uh, to energize yourself, all right? By doing certain movement and uh, it will enhance your, your, your overall being. All right, your wellness, your overall wellness. So there are three pillars in Qigong. Those are the very basic foundation of uh, when you talk about Qigong, what are the three pillars? You don't have to take notes because I have it recorded. So I can play back. You, you, can, you can always watch this tape later. Okay, the first is your physical movement. By moving, uh, moving and by exercising, you are regulating your body, you are directing your chi to various parts of your body. Okay, that's pillar number one. Pillar number two is your breathing, how you breathe, your inhale and your exhale. So when you inhale, you also synchronize your move with your inhale. And then when you exhale, you also synchronize your move with the exhale. Like bring, when you inhale, you bring the arms in. When you exhale, you push your palms out. Okay? Same thing, when you inhale, you kind of raise your palms. And when you exhale, you kind of press down your palm. All right? That's how you synchronize your move with your breathing. And the third pillar, which is equally important, is your, atten your intention. Having your intention, you intend to do certain things. With the proper intention, you can feel the energy. With, with, but by just doing exercise, you don't, you don't you don't really feel the chi, but with the intention, then you can feel the chi, you can direct the chi, all right? So those are the three pillars, physical movement, breathing, and intention. So next uh, is the refinement. How do we refine our, our move? So, you have to pay attention to certain details. Detail. Each detail, including your breathing, your body, your, even your organ, your awareness to all these. Your awareness to your organ, to your, uh, to your body. Organ include not just the heart, the, the lungs, but also your skin. The skin is a very white toe organ. When you do qigong, you kind of open the pores of your skin, open up all the pores uh, in, your, in your skin, and then you become more receptive, more receptive to the energy in your surrounding. So doing qigong outdoor actually has that advantage because the energy outside, especially in the wooded area, uh, actually it has a very 
good effect on on the overall bot on, on your um for your health. All right, that's why you have fresh ox or fresh air. All the ox all all the oxygens uh, uh, coming from the uh, from the uh, leaves from the woods. Okay. All right. So, uh, and then we have to learn how to control yourself, how to control your mood by, by paying attention to each little movement because all this slow movement, each segment of your movement is building up and form the overall movement. All right, so what, what I'm talking about, the trees and the forest. Segment of the move is the trees. And then the overall movement is the forest. All right. Okay, and then that's how we do Qigong. But how do we... Uh, start this journey that's that how to start this uh qigong journey and why so many people fail mainly because of two mistakes they make two mistakes when they embark on this qigong journey is they don't start it not starting the journey okay and then when they start the journey they are not going all the way. They uh, they kind of uh, you, you know they don't have the right uh, attitude attitude towards the exercise. They just say, "Oh, I'm just doing it," you, you know, uh, without a good intention. The intention is to how to improve your health, how to. Uh, your intention is how to make yourself feel much better. Okay. Uh, so the next part we are talking about is you have to aware certain areas in your body are not used for a long time. You may use your hand, your leg, or uh, all the time. But there's certain areas in your in your body may not be used uh, as much. So uh, that's why when we do the button gen, when we do this egg movements, all this egg movement will address all your overall uh, body movements. So. By doing button chain, the, all the egg move, it will work out every joint, every muscle, and F all, all your bones. All right. So that's why doing button chain is important because it will stimulate all, all the areas in your body, even the areas you hardly use. It will, in a way, force you to move those to. Uh, to exercise those areas. Okay. So now that we are doing Qigong, there's different stages uh, of learning Qigong. Stage number one, uh, which is just copying the move. By copying the move, uh, you can either watch watching me doing it or you can watch a tape or you can watch a tape doing it just copying the move that's that's stage number one that's the wall frame wall framework just just like when you uh, when you do the Chinese calligraphy the first thing you learn how to do write the Chinese character is to imitate is to copy right? That's, that's the very basic stage. That's stage number one. Okay. But once we do enough of that, 
Then we move to stage two. You are going to kind of feel the movement yourself and it's, the movement will come from you rather than watching other people doing it or, or what, other than watching the tape or watching me doing it. Then you, you kind of master that stage already. You jump into the next station, next stage, which is doing the move coming from yourself. You don't have to think too much because you already know uh, the move and you already know how to do the next move. So you already have enough experience, all right? So that's stage number two. Um, and then come to yet another stage, stage three. Stage three is once you know how to do the move, then you have to focus on the detail, how to improve, how to make it better. Uh, you can do the same move 100 times, but without bringing awareness to, to your move, then you will never, you can only reach the plateau. You will not be able to go to the next level. How do you go to the next level? Is by paying attention to your detail uh, or, or, you know, uh, focus on the way you do it. Don't be too tense or don't be too relaxed, okay? In other words, you have to have the right amount of tension. The thing is sometimes when we stretch, we stretch and pull and pull and make sure you stretch enough. But then when once you, you have reached the, uh, your maximum, then you have to learn how to relax it back. All right, how to relax and so that you can uh, do more moves, all right? So that's stage number three. Stage number three is bring awareness. Say for example, when I'm breathing, there are different type of breathing, including first, breathe through your, through your organs down to your dantian, and then expel from your dantian. There is yet another kind of breathing, focusing on the pores of the skin. That means your whole, your whole body, Bring awareness to your whole body by exchanging the air with your skin. Breathing through the air with using your skin to breathe. All right. So that's how, um, how you can go to the next stage, a higher stage. is the higher level is when you use different type of breathing. First, you can try out breathing, focusing through your, through your lungs, through your organ, all right? Such as, you, you know, and then breathe all the way to your dantian. And then you can also try and breathe through your skin, all right? So body awareness is very important because when you, you, you can simply do something without awareing it, all right? Just like, just like breathing, take, take breathing in, for example. You can simply breathe. You don't have to be aware, right? It, you, you will still live because you, you inhale, exhale without knowing that you inhale and exhale. But at the same time, you can purposely Focus on your breathing, your inhale, and your exhale. Especially sleeping at night. When you go to bed, when you, when you can't sleep, your mind is, is wandering around and it's hard for you to settle down. So, and when, when your mind is so active, it becomes more active. And, and the more you try to sleep, the harder it becomes because your mind is so active. 
So how do you uh, make yourself go to, go to sleep is by calming yourself down, by focusing on your breathing, paying attention to your inhale and paying attention to your exhale. Think of nothing else. Just imagine the, the breath of air coming through your nose, down through your throat, past your lungs, further down to your tummy, past your tummy, and then down to your dantin. And then the same part when you exhale. Just imagine the, the breath of air coming up through, through the same path and then out through your nose. So when you focus on something and then your mind will be very con will be so concentrated that you then you uh, all the other things disappear. And then when everything else disappears, it's only the breath you're thinking, then you fall asleep without you aware of it. All right. So that's the beauty of awareness. Awareness of your breathing, okay? And then, uh, once you become proficient, once be, you become comfortable with what you're doing, especially with your exercise, then you become your own master. You are the master yourself. Everybody has a humble start, just like me. When I learn anything, when I learn Qi Kong, when I learn Kung Fu, I, I, start, I start like uh, anybody else, okay? The reason why I, am, I become a Sifu is because I practice. I practice every day. I practice a lot. That's why I am more comfortable just because of my practice because I, uh, I also pay attention, pay attention to everything. I, uh, I also make myself aware of what I'm doing, what my intention is, and, and then I'll, I'll become better and better. If I can do it, so can you. So, Use the sensitivity of your feeling to guide you. Be sensitive to your need. Be sensitive to your body. And of course, uh, your body always gives you some kind of signal. If, this, if, uh, if you're feeling, if, you, if there's some area which you have pain or discomfort, try to respect that. Try not to go beyond that limit, okay? And Bhattu Jin actually is a very, very, very good exercise because each move uh, focus on certain area of your body. And by doing all these eight moves, that, that it covers every part of your body, all right? So by all means, Try to do the Bhattin every day, at least the Bhattin Jin, okay? And later on, when we, are prof when we are comfortable enough, when we are doing very well, then I will suggest we move to an other Qigong uh, move, which is called the Yi Jin Jing, Yi Gan Jing. The Yi Jin Jing actually it's it's more advanced. The stretching is more intense, and it's it's more challenging because they it, it requires a lot of attention. Uh, uh, it requires uh, you have to have a a good overall. You have to have a good condition in your body in in in, in order to do it well. Okay. So that will come next, uh, maybe another three months from now. For the time being, the button gen, make sure you master every move of your button gen. And then once I find people are comfortable enough, 
Then I will move on to the next uh, move, the the Ba Zhen Zhen, the or the Yi Zhen Zhen, and and then let me see if I have something else that I want to talk about. Ah. Okay. Okay, so right now I think we can, the lecture is, is long enough. So we can start doing the Ba uh, Zhen Jing this time. Uh, let me uh, change the screen. Okay, all right. Now, when we do Bartingen this time, I'm not going to use the tape, but rather want to uh, Okay, let me change the screen so that you can see me better. Okay. So make sure first you you focus yourself, relax every joint, every body. Your shoulders should be dropped. Your head is supposed to be upright as if there's a string attached to your head. So once there's a string attached to your head, everything is aligned, all right? Everything is aligned. Just take long deep breath. Focus on your breathing, your inhale, and your exhale. Inhale through the nose, slowly suck it in, all the way, and then all the way to your dantian area. Exhale through the mouth, and slowly come out, and open your mouth ajar, and then sigh it up. Or make sure you don't blow the air. Don't don't narrow your, your mouth and boom. Don't do that. Just take it easy. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Okay. Now, we have to respect the people who come, who start the Baden Jin. So, our uh, hands in prayer, okay? Hands in prayer, we have to have a good intention. Our intention is to keep our body healthy and our attend intention is to be proficient in doing the move, all right? So with this, we bow, take a deep bow. The bow is to respect those people who create this exercise, all right? And then the next move is make sure you take long deep breath. Feel the air go through your organ. And then we and then later on we can try bring awareness to your skin, breathing through your skin. But this time our focus is through your breathing through your organ, including your lungs and everything. All right. And now slowly raise your palm. Slowly raise your palm. Take a few breaths and then slowly go down. Exhale when you go down. Inhale and then exhale. Once you reach here, then take a step to the left. Now your feet are parallel. And then inhale, raise your hands up. 
Exhale, press down your hand. Go slow. Feel the energy flowing to all part of your body. Feel the energy. Feel the chi. And then exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Now this time, pay attention to your palm, especially the center of your palm. Feel the air coming through the center of your palm. Inhale. And then exhale. Again, inhale. Feel the energy coming through the center of your palm. And then exhale. Sigh it up. One more time, inhale. Now this time up to your shoulder and then slightly rotate your palm until your palm is facing up. And then tilt your head back and push your palm out. Up to the top, your palm should be flat and the fingers are pointing to each other. Continue to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Make sure your head is tilted back 90 degrees so that you can get all the air in through your nose, all the way to your dantian. Continue to breathe. Feel the energy in your hand. And feel the energy to various parts of your body, your palms, your arms, and your legs. And now slowly turn, rotate your palm. And now your palm are facing down. Slowly bring them down. Go slow, very slow. All the way down. And halfway, when you're out of breath, you can inhale. All right, so you can always inhale and exhale spontaneously. All right, so inhale up. Exhale down. Again, inhale. Exhale. Now this time when we inhale, Try to inhale through the pore of the skin, through your skin. Exchanging oxygen through your skin. Inhale. Exhale. Now we do again the first move, move number one. Two hands holding up the head. And then now up to your shoulder. Now slowly rotate your palm facing up. Tilt your head back 90 degrees and push. Feel the energy through your palm, your arms and your legs. Take long deep breath. Continue to breathe. Your eyes look at the fingertip. And then slowly turn your palm and slowly bring them down. That's move number one. So move number one is I continue to do the move while I'll explain uh, to have more explanation. All right. is this move is help you 
for your upper body, the middle section of the body, and the lower part of the body. The upper body, including your lungs. The middle section is your digestive system. And the lower part portion is your excretory system. So by doing this move, we are pulling all this meridian line that's directly regulate all these different sections of your body. All right. So that's move number one. So I'm so talking really something. Okay. The second move is shooting the heart. So what you do is take a big step, lower your step, big step to the left, lower your step. Your stand should be slow. And then now, what you do is uh, one hand is a tiger crawl, tiger crawl, go like this. Tiger, this is your tiger crawl. But the only difference is this time your index finger is pointing up and your thumb is pointing sideways instead of pointing down. It's instead of pointing, it, uh, it's pointing sideways, all right? And then the other one is a fist, holding, holding a fist. And then slowly pull, slowly pull until you stretch. Notice your elbow is slightly up. And then your eyes should not be looking to the, to the front, but rather to at your tip of your fingertip, the tip of your index fingertip. So when you pull, you try to inhale. Pull, 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 and then inhale. And then stop, and then exhale. And then inhale again, and then exhale. Okay, so this move actually is stretching your elbow, stretching your shoulder, all right? And then with your stance, you are working on your knee, you're working at your waist. So everything is involved, including your heel. Okay, and then take a few breaths. Once you finish, then you open up open up your palm and then the one holding the fist turn the palm facing out and now you sweep the other hand in front sweep the other hand in front all the way and then while you are sweeping this one also turn both okay also turn and when you're up to here then you change then then this one becomes a feast and this one become a tiger crawl with index fingers pointing up. Then you start to pull. When you pulling, you inhale. Take long deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Remember this elbow is slightly up, not too high, not too low, actually slightly up. And then stretch, stretch to the limit, and then relax a little bit. Just relax a little bit, still engage. And then keep on with the right tension, all right? Not too relaxed, but relax enough. But continue to breathe. Take long deep breath all the way to your dantian area. And when you're ready, open up your palm. Open up your palm, and now the the one that was a fist, turn the palm facing out and then slowly sweep the hand in front. Slowly sweep the hand in front, turn, and then change into a fist and then the other one into a tiger crawl. And start inhaling and pulling at the same time. Until your lung is filled and then exhale. Make sure your elbow is slightly up. Continue to breathe. Notice your stance. You can lower your, <clears throat> you can further lower your stance. So it becomes more intense. Continue to breathe. 
Okay, and then slowly bring the other hand in front, and then together press and down. Press down, and then inhale, exhale, inhale. This time, move the step in, and then exhale. Again, inhale, exhale, all the way to your daunting area, inhale, inhale to your daunting, exhale, expel from your daunting. And then you can, sometimes you can, you can have different intention. Say, you can alternate your intention. Say, first, you can inhale through, through your lungs, past your tummy to your dantin, or you have the intentions to exchange the oxygen through the skin. Bringing awareness. How do you, how do you switch? It's from di it's directly from your intention. Your intention is to breathe through your, through your organ or the intention is through your skin. Just say, for example, right now, I want to focus on my skin exchange of oxygen. Or right now, my intention is through, the intention is through my lungs all the way to my dunking, all right? So that's your intention. That's how you switch, all right? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we are going to the third move. To lay pay way down goes out. Okay, so what you are doing now is once you reach the shoulder, then your left hand continue to go down and your right hand flip your palm and continue to go up. And your head, you should be looking at the fingertip of the top hand. Make sure your head is tilted back 90 degrees. Both palms are flat. The one below, you're pointing forward. The one above, right now is your right palm. Your right palm, the finger is pointing to the left. Make sure you tilt your head back 90 degrees and then stretch and then relax, and, but still engage, okay? Relax, but still engage, continue to breathe. And then focus on your palm, the center of your palm, your long gong yu. There's a big acupuncture point, which is your long gong yu, all right? Focus on your long gong yu. Try to breathe through those, those low gong yu. That's your intention. Take long deep breath. And then slowly, the top hand slowly come down, joining the, the other hand. Joining the other hand. And now, continue stretching. Inhale all the way. Once you reach the top, then stretch and relax, but engage. Take your head back 90 degrees, continue to breathe. Take a few breaths. Focus on your low gong yu. And then slowly exchange, slowly exchange. Slowly raise your hand and then slowly bringing them down. And then inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale, 
all the way to the daunting, exhale, expel from the daunting. Inhale. And then exhale. Okay, the next move is say mulo chasong hang hao chiu. So your left hand on the right hand side, slowly move up, slowly move up, and then move down. And then your right hand also going up and go down and then pop your left hand behind your back. Okay? And then drop your right hand to the side. You're, you should be staring with the corner of your eyes. No, just continue to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Take long, deep breath. Make sure you breathe to your daunting area. Just focus on your breathing. Also pay attention to your low gong yu, the center of your palm. Try to extract air through the center of your palm. Continue to breathe. Okay, and now we start to move. Your right hand come up. And then left hand come up. Drop your right hand and back behind your back. Drop your left hand. Turn to the side. Stay with the corner of your eyes. Take long deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Again, pay attention to the center of your palm. Try to extract air through the center of your palm. And try to also release air through the center of your palm. That's your intention. Use your intentions to do that. Take a few more breath. And now slowly raise your left hand. And come down, raise your right hand in a straight line. Continue to breathe. Slowly come down. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, side out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. And this time, open up. Take a big step to the left. Lower your stance. And then inhale. All both hands sideways up. And come down this way. You can see your palm. And then slowly resting your palm on your thigh. Make sure your stand is wide. Look to the front. Take a few breath. And now straighten out your left leg. Keep your left leg straight. And you're facing, your head is facing the right side. Facing the right side. Take a few breath. And slowly lower your head. Slowly go slow, all the way down. Until you reach the bottom. Until you reach the bottom. 
Then slowly turn your head to the other side. And then adjusting your leg. Adjusting your leg. Now your body leg is straight. And then once you reach the other side, raise your head. Now tilt your head back 90 degrees. Keep your right leg and right arm straight. Take a long deep breath. Okay, once you're ready, take a few breaths afterwards, and then now you lower your head all the way down. Lower your head all the way down. Once you're down, slowly adjust your leg, turn your head to the other side. Now your left leg is straight, and then tilt your head back 90 degrees. Continue to breathe. Your left arm and left leg are straight. Now lower your head all the way down, all the way down. Once you reach the bottom, move to the center. Move to the center. Slowly raise yourself up. Now facing to the front. Now both hands come up sideways. And then slowly come down in front. And then inhale. Okay, bring in your leg. Exhale. Again, inhale. And then exhale. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. This time, have your hand go behind, cover your kidney, cover your kidney, tuck the elbow in. And then slowly move forward. Move forward and then slowly bend backward. Slowly bend backward. All the way as far as you can go. And slowly bend forward again. This time, slide your hand along your leg. Slide your hand along your leg. And then hover your palm finger over your toe. And then have it, have the hand on side, inside your leg, slowly come up. Slowly come up. Again, hands go behind, lower your head, lower your head. Slowly bend backward. Tuck the elbow in, go as far back as you can. And slowly bend forward, slowly bend forward. Now slide your hand along your leg. Over your toe and let's come up slowly. And then inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, and then exhale, this time your right hand go to the side, and then sweep around in front. And then holding two feet. Holding two feet. Lower your set. 
Now look at your light, your left fist, and start punch forward. Turn while you punch. Now open your palm. Rotate your palm. Collect your fingers one by one. And then bring it in. Look at your right fist. Start punching. Turn while you punch. Arm is straight down. Open your, up your palm. Rotate. Collect fingers one by one. Slowly bring it in. Now turn to the left. Punch to the left. Keep your arms straight. Eyes follow your feet. Open your palm. Rotate your palm. Collect your fingers. Bring it in. Now turn your head to the other side and punch. Open your palm. Rotate. Collect your fingers. Bring it in. Look forward. Punch both sides. Turn while you punch. Open your palm. Rotate. Collect your fingers. And pull. Now punch to the front. Open your palm. Rotate. Collect your fingers and pull. And now raise your elbow. Raise your elbow. All the way. Flatten your palm. Slowly bring them down. And then inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring in your leg, and then exhale. Again, inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and then exhale. Now, have all the fingers touch together and then slowly raise your heel up, standing on your toe. Standing on your toe. And release. Arms go back, fingers together on your toe. Heel up. Release. Again, arms go back on your toe. Release. Again, fingers go back on your toe. Release. Arms go back on your toe.
Release one more time on your toe. Release. And then now hands go down. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Now arms come up to the side. Inhale. And then slowly come down, exhale. Cover your left hand with your right. Take a long deep breath. Store all the energy in your dancing. Take long deep breath. Bring your leg in, arms in prayer. And bow. Okay. So that concludes the class. So people, please turn up your audio and video. And let's have a chat. I'm going to stop the recording.